But he's always been very talented. He's a lightly run horse. You know, he has four lifetime races now, and you watch him train. That's what you're going back to. Well, you know, you think that uh, his uh, Preakness um, you know, solidified his, his quality. Right. And the uh, fact that he's continued to train well since has, uh, you know, a lot of people talking about him that wasn't before. Um, he went in the Preakness the longest shot on the board, and I don't think that'll happen in the one. Yeah, for me, it's breeding horses that can win Breeders' Cup races, classic races. Obviously, sprinting doesn't kind of fall on that, although they have sprint races in the Breeders' Cup, but it's more of a target of what I look for. You know, being here in May, being in the classics is you know, something I want to check off. Never won a triple crown race. Never won one. In fact, I think uh, the Preakness would be, as far as the horse we bred, our best finish. Gun Runner was the best finish in the horse we bought, but for one that we bred, tenfold is the best finish we've had. You know, when I say common, I think it's confident that he was going to step up. Yeah, I think, you know, we had a different plan, went to Arkansas Derby. He didn't finish up as well as we had hoped. For whatever reason, you never know with horses. So we were thinking, you know, he's training great. Let's give him another shot. It's great you know, his, you know, in the last, what, three, four years, tap it. His record in the Belmont is unbelievable. Kerwin coming up a little, a little short in the Belmont, but basically distance was obviously well within his capabilities. He's got it on both sides.